Hi, this is Nurturing Mums and I'm so excited to share this video with you because I love everything to do with breastfeeding. How the milk is formed, the bonding the mother gets with her baby, how the baby enjoys just being at the, on the mom's bosom and getting the nutrition that they need. Now, I was with a mom the other day and she had just was she was blessed with twins, a boy and a girl. But she, she called me because she was having issues with her breasts because they were both inverted. So in this video, I want to talk about uh, inverted breasts and how to cope with them. My name is Shiro and you're watching Nurturing Moms. So pretty much inverted breasts are breasts. So this is my model breast. Inverted breasts are breasts whose nipples are not protruding like this one, but it's inverted, meaning it's inside, okay? So it causes some a depression. There's different degrees, some are really severe and others are mild, but the, the nipple doesn't pop out, it just stays in, okay? Now this mom who had twins had one uh, normal breast and one was inverted. Now I'm like, oh my God, why would you find out at the last minute? And I don't blame the mom, I blame the, the, maybe the doctors who are working with her because one of the things that they should check is your breast to see yes they're taking care of a pregnant mom but are, their bre are her breasts ready to nourish the baby once the baby is born anyway cut the long story short in hospital wherever you give birth if your breasts are inverted this is what you're given pretty much this is a syringe this is a normal syringe a 20 cc 20 ml syringe okay so they've just cut out the tip so you they cut out the tip and then you remove this lever and put it to this end okay so what this syringe does is pull out help to extract and draw out the nipple that is inverted so if you're in hospital the nurse will come and leave this one with you to then tell you that you put it on your nipple yeah and then you pull you pull okay as you're pulling it's supposed to help pull the nipple out it's so painful okay so most moms tend to get a, a burn like friction burn a nice round circle because of this mouth here it tends to burn because you're pulling quite a bit if you're to use this on your hand and i did that it's actually painful it's very painful now imagine you're just pulling and pulling and pulling and pulling maybe for five minutes to try to get your nipple out okay now there's something called a nipple puller which does the same thing, but is less uncomfortable. You cannot compare the discomfort a mom would get trying to use this to extract her, her, her nipple out from the, you know, the areola area out to pop out, and this. This is a lot more gentle, so you usually squeeze this and put it on the, the nipple, put it on the nipple, and then it's supposed to suck it out, okay? So I'll do this on my hand just to show you. You squeeze this, put it here, and it does the same thing as this other one was doing, but less uh, pain, okay? So it's the same thing, but this one is a lot more painful because the suction is so strong. So you do this just before you feed your baby. So baby is starting to wake up, showing signs and cues of wanting to feed. You quickly get somewhere, get out your nipple puller, put it on your breast, and you can either do this, which will make a lot of milk come out especially if you're full so you'll get milk coming in here or you just squeeze it and leave it there to help extract the nipple when the baby is ready you pick your baby up take this off and latch the baby quickly on the breast if you do that usually within a week or two maximum the baby is able to pull out the nipple and you had started with an inverted nipple after two weeks it tends to now pop out and just you would not need, need to use a nipple puller so i just want to show you moms if you examine your breasts and you realize that you have a nipple that's inside the areola and it's not popping out as it normally should be okay you can still successfully breastfeed your baby exclusively for six months, okay? All you need to do is get the right equipment. You can try and get this from Biashara Street, um, from a baby shop. There are also different brands. It's called a nipple puller. It will help extract your nipple in preparation. Just don't do it before the baby comes. You can do it and then once your baby is born, you can now have this and you constantly use it. You don't necessarily have to use it for more than two weeks. By that time, your nipple has been extracted. I just wanted to compare these two. This is what we use in hospitals, but it's very excruciatingly painful and it leaves a nice friction burn on the areola and you will definitely not want to use this. 
because you will end up giving up breastfeeding very early and it's possible to do that. So if you realize you have inverted nipples, please find a nipple puller. It will make your life so much easier. If you need information, please contact Nurturing Moms. We're here to support you, educate you and to empower you. So our Facebook, uh, like our Facebook page, subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you need to contact us, our numbers are below. Email, you can WhatsApp, you can text or you can ring and we'll be happy to, to give you information of maybe where you can get this or even how to use it, all right? Thank you so much for watching.